All right, folks. So I'm about to go embark on this uh, this little adventure on the ginger. I think the one man right here in front of uh, the wild orchid. We're gonna go over to uh, Central Park Reef, pick up some folks, and then we're gonna take a ride around the castle and head out to this uh, little island over there. We're playing tour guide today. So without further ado, uh, we're about to load up on the ship. Ronald. Ronald? Yeah. I'm Marcos, Marcos. man. I'm Marcos. And your name? Nympha. Nympha? Yes. Nympha. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this this is your Asawa. Okay. You gotta love it. That's a happy couple right there. So that is that is one happy couple working on the boat together all day long. I love it. But I think we're gonna face a little bit of rain and a little bit of inclement weather. This could be a Gilligan's Island uh, tour, I'm not sure. But all the way, I wanna thank everybody for joining me. And uh, Captain Rollins and the first mate, Nympha, on this little two hour tour here on Subic Bay. And you're looking at Mango's Dive Resort right in front of me coming into Central Park Reef and there's your look around Barrio Barreto down to the pier looking for my party over here I'm gonna tell you what if you've ever played tour guide before horrible tour guide <laughs> being a tour guide is uh, is difficult and number one, if you're a tour guide, your, uh, your, your people are always late. All right, so there they are, working slowly. We are not prepared because we didn't bring any drinks, but we're just going on a quick tour, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. And I think that's what Gilligan and them said in the skipper. That's all right, man. We're only going for a couple hours, right? Yeah, we'll be okay. Ahoy, me mateys! So just be real careful. It's slippery. Okay, careful. No broken bones. Careful now. It's slippery, man. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. There you go. All right, so we got two aboard with no injuries, my friends. Now waiting on one old man somewhere. He may be waiting over there on the tricycle. He didn't realize I'm picking him up on the beach. The entrance to Central Park Reef. And so far, they say, they say they're loving, loving this hotel. Get your, get your feet washed off. And there's another spot up here. I gotta try to find this guy. See if he's coming or not. Okay. Here's a look around the pool area. This is an awesome pool. All right, but I gotta go find my party. I have collected, collected my party here. Helping out, push the boat out. Get loaded up, and then we'll be rolling. I was back on board this vessel, pulling up the uh, bow line, my friends, and we're about to, we're about to fire this thing up. And we got the first mate back here. She's pulling, pulling in the stern line. And that's how we back these things up here. So we're about to fire up the engines and roll out on this three hour tour. SS Minnow. All right, Captain Raw, you have permission to take it up to full throttle, sir. You may proceed. Going head on with another boat here. Who's going to play chicken? Who's going to flinch? All right, my friends. Coming up on the castle. This is one of my outposts of my kingdom. From the kingdom of Marcos. And look, it's raining. It's kind of an overcast day. But during a sunny day, uh, you can see the water. And she's actually giving the captain directions, and I'm right in the way. <laughs> She's giving them left, right directions coming into this uh, this bay. This is the bay, Castle Bay, where we've got to uh, to park here. So we're gonna 
we're going to try to dock this thing even though it's a little windy and we're going to take some pictures up here at the castle and if you saw my videos before we did a live stream with crazy mike the live stream wasn't that great so i'm here today with the with the gopro i'll give you a new, another tour of this little little outpost here in the middle of uh subic bay she's giving <laughs> course correction to the port side. Okay, sound collision. Sound collision. Prepare the beach. Close to how uh, clear the water is. She's hauling. Whoa, 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 easy. You got it? You okay? We're almost broke the femur, but we're good. They're doing. They know what they're doing. They do this every day. So he's gonna, he's tied off to the turret up here. And he's routed it through the uh, through the bow, and he's tightened it down here. So, so our basically our bow don't move. So when we go to we go to disembark, there's not a whole lot of play in that bow up there. Okay, we're ready to go, Captain Ronald. Okay, all right, folks, just watch what I do. All right, folks, we're gonna try to do this without anybody getting injured. Okay, and then step off. Careful. Just hold on. Watch your step over the rope. Okay. Get real easy. Get hold. Get real easy. Folks, welcome to my castle. Welcome to, welcome to one of my castles in the kingdom of Marcos. Let me show you the defense system here. All right, I got a turret over here. Now, right now, there's no guns manning this. But in times of need, we can man this turret. We got basically a uh, panoramic uh, defense here. If there comes any attack from the from the beach side, and here you go. It needs a paint job. It definitely needs a paint job. We got another dive boat coming in, and that's the Princess Ginger that we're currently riding on. And I'll take you upstairs and give you give you a look around from the from my top deck here, folks. Stairway's a little tight, but you can make it. It's a little tight, but you can make it. Now this right here is usually where I put wife number one at night when she needs a place to sleep. And I'll put any other wife number two, wife number three. over there is where we come from central park reef there's the wild orchid we do have a floating bar i think that's shit i did a video and i can't remember kokomo's floating bar i think it is come over to this side and look i know i'm shooting on a gopro there's no zoom and it's way the hell over there but that's the far side of subic bay check out my video we basically traveled right over in that area almost to the hedgen now bankrupt shipyard uh grande island in the middle and then of course a long pose over this direction over here there's your look around and if you want to know if you want to know about the history of this place get on the internet because i've read about it before and i don't really remember what they said <laughs> i'm not sure what's true or not he'll so the local folks, you guys can weigh in on the comments down below. Let them know the history of this here castle. All right, folks, that's your tour of uh, of my castle here, guarding Barrio Barreto. This is out Al, uh, outpost Barrio Barreto, and we're gonna head over to this other island, and we're gonna do some swimming over there. We were gonna swim here, but uh, well, my man said there's some uh, sea urchins little sea urchins or whatever so we'll go over to the other island do a little swimming i'm gonna test out the uh, gopro in the underwater housing just picked up on to the next stop all right my friends We're rolling out and i think our next destination is that little small island i don't know i right, folks you got an info man in the rope what you're looking at right here is the Hanjin shipyard, Korean shipyard that's now the pump. And I don't want to give up too much, but there's a Navy ship over there. 
backed in over there. And right there is that area where we went to on the other video when I was looking for a place to fish. Because on the map it says there's a resort right there where that pier is, but it's not a resort. Uh, just bullshit information. Wasn't no place for me to fish over there. So we're coming up to this little island now. They said this is better to uh, better place to do some swimming. And maybe they got some beer over here. Looks like we may have a sorry sorry store. All right, folks, passing the uh, Josephine here. We'll wave to these folks. Not sure where they're coming from. And Nifa, what's the name of this island? Um, I, for, I forgot. To you forgot? It. All right. Well, I don't know either. So we'll we'll ask somebody. They have food and beer. No. No sorry sorry store. I I think so. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out, folks. They may be uh, bring your own food or what have you, or maybe some folks selling beer. We're gonna find out. So I'm gonna get up front and I'm gonna try not to interfere with the captain. But sometimes you gotta get into the mix to get the shot for you guys. Looks like we're coming straight in and we're gonna beach, uh, we're gonna beach just head on and tie off. And another little fortified island with a uh, stone wall here. All right, I'm gonna duck down so she can give the captain course corrections. Get out of the way. And it looks like we got a crew. All right, sound collision. Prepare to beach. And folks, this water here is pretty clear too. Yeah. It's a little bit more calm over here getting on and off. And plus they got assistance. So that's why they wanted to bring us over here in the first place. I don't blame them. It's safer when they've got people helping. And there's a look around. I'm going to take out of that water. It's pretty clear. All right, folks, we're going to disembark this rig, and then uh, we're going to do a little swimming and snorkeling. We'll give you a tour around. And, folks, when you're getting on and off these vessels, you need to listen to the captain. Hold on to as many points of contact. This your son? Yeah. All right. Son-in-law. Oh, son-in-law. Yeah. Okay, my friend. They have a boat, too. Oh, he's got a boat? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yep. 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 All right, my friend. Thank you very much for your assistance. Put right in here. Oh, yeah, that's a good sturdy rock. Hey, folks, we just wade ashore. And here's a look around. Got this fortified little beach. And we got the uh, razor rocks. Again, I don't recommend you climb on those rocks. And they do have... They do have uh, masks, maybe snorkels, but they got masks here. I brought my own, and yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be wearing this on my head. But uh, we're going to do some snorkeling around and check it out. And I'm not sure over here if this is a sorry, sorry store or not, but I got to find out because if they've got beer, I'm rolling straight into it. Hello, my friends. Do we have any beer for sale? No beer? No beer, boss. No beer, only yeah. souvenirs? Only souvenir like that, yeah. Okay, so folks, yeah. so if you come to this island, there's no beer. There's uh, souvenirs Plenty for sale. Souvenir, like some blood by stone. Some Plenty, Plenty of uh, souvenirs, but it's uh, bring your own food. These folks are having a picnic. I don't want to serve them, but they, they did bring their own food. <clears throat> All right, let's check it out over here before we hit the, we go to swimming. And I'm kind of uh, excited about trying out the GoPro underwater. And I've got the new housing. Now, yes, the GoPro is waterproof down to, what is it, 33 feet? I think that's right. But you know what? I don't want to take a chance. So I bought the waterproof housing. I'm going to swim around with this guy. And see how the footage is. And it looks like a young lady over here on the rocks hanging out by herself. Hello. And I'm not going to get on these rocks, folks. These rocks are beautiful. They're great for pho photography. Just unforgiving if you fall. 
Okay, folks, so they got they got mass and snorkels out here. I'm not sure how much they're gonna charge us for it, but they, they do have uh, mass and snorkel. And also got fins. So they've got uh, snorkeling stuff. If you're gonna go snorkeling, just uh, just use their stuff out here. I don't wanna give them any food. It might attract sharks, man. Uh, <laughs> you know? But they have no check there. There's no sharks here? Yeah. How do you How do you know there's no sharks, man? Are you sure? Yeah. Did you ever see that uh, movie Jaws? Uh, part of Mindanao, it's there in many sharks. Many sharks in yeah, Mindanao. Back there in Luzon, I think. Nothing, no sharks yeah. here. I like to hear that. All right, folks, you just, you just heard it from this gentleman here. There's sharks in Mindanao, but there ain't no sharks here in Luzon. And I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. All right, so we're going to pop this thing into the the waterproof housing i'm going snorkeling okay folks now you probably can't hear the audio it's inside the case and i got to get my stuff out but it's an audio check this is an audio case inside the uh the fog spot on there maybe i should wipe that off i i, I used to dive back in the u.s but uh now i'm just a snorkeler you know how all right here we go you got nothing in my pockets. Ooh, that's nice and cool, but not too cold. Oh, yeah, I got a few fish in here, plus these feet of, uh, He's feeding the fish, uh, hey, it's a spot right on that fucking housing. He's feeding the bread. a little uh, snorkeling if the if the uh, footage was a little glossy it's because I left the damn plastic little lens cover lens protector where it was brand new I'm a dumbass and I think there's an air bubble in it so I had to peel it off so but a good little place to go snorkeling this is about a 30 minute 45 minute hour stop there's no food there's no drink here now the gentleman here had snorkel and mask and fins, all that stuff. But you need to bring a cooler, bring your own food, uh, bring your own drink. But we're not here long enough to really worry about it. So we just took a quick tour of, uh, of the Castle Island, came out here, just a little bit of swimming around. There's a few fish to look at. And I'm getting thirsty. So we'll probably just hightail it back to the uh, Blue Rock, plop down at the bar, get some cold beer. and. It's a nice little two or three hour tour. Okay, my friends, so there is an entrance fee. It's 20 pesos per person uh, to come over here and hang out. So we got to owe these gentlemen 80 pesos, and then we'll be on our way. We started out, it was kind of cloudy. It's still cloudy, but that darn sun, when it comes out, folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is nice and cool in the evenings cool breeze the weather's perfect for sitting outside we were sitting outside last night not one damn mosquito it was just like free air condition it was wonderful but during the day when that sun comes out i ain't gonna lie to you it's hot it is warm so you coming here uh, on vacation uh during the day don't fool yourself it, it's hot during the day with that sun beating down but all my friends out there if you're canada uh, anywhere in the west freezing your balls off i feel for you come on over anytime enjoy some of the sunshine my friends all right let's board this boat ship whatever you want to call it it's a pump boat time to roll 
clear to go with throttle up, my friend. You may proceed. Cause I'm rolling in the 5.0. Got the rag top down so my hair can blow. Time for a beer. Drinking a beer. Now stay away from that red horse, man. Red horse put the that red horse put the hurting on you. Alright, folks, just wanted to call it the lighthouse. There's a damn old lighthouse up there. Nobody real sure what the name of the island is, they just call it Lighthouse Island. We got pirates on the banana boat. Folks, there's folks in there sitting on bar stools, so I'm going to make the assumption that the uh, floating bar in front of Mangoes is open now. But hey, I'm probably going to conclude the video, so I want to thank everybody for joining us on this little day trip here on Subic Bay right outside, or right here in Barrio Barreto. That's all I got. 20, 40, 60, 80. There you go, right there. Thank you, sir. You keep that 10. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you very much. All right, folks, bought the lady some, some mango with some alamon. Rolling back to the crib. Yeah, folks, we're going to Texas Joe's tonight. I'm real excited about that. Head on over to Texas Joe's. I'm going with the Tennessee Trio. I don't even got to think about it. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm going with the Tennessee Trio and that banana cornbread. I'm not sure. Maybe some baked beans. Ooh, wee. It's going to be a good night tonight. Texas Joe's, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> 